Control Bionics. So if you don't mind, tell me what am I looking at now? So you're looking at assistive communication devices that can be used with eye gaze cameras and we have a wearable Bluetooth switch mm. for someone that might have challenge communicating. So people who might have ALS, a brain injury, cerebral palsy, um, anybody who needs a voice um, and needs a different access method for it. So, um, we tend to also help people who are medically complex. Okay. So this is one type of speech software. It's in categories. Oh, wow. Um, it can access, uh, I can pair a phone with it. Somebody could answer the phone and what they select here is what you hear in the phone. Nice. Um, so they could still call for emergencies. So like text to voice pretty much being able to. Exactly. Marvelous. But it's with the speech generating device and maybe they can't touch it, but they're mm -hmm. gonna use the eye gaze camera. Oh, to look. wow. Or we also have this wearable switch. You heard that beat. Mm -hmm. This is a switch, much, much like a mouse click, but it moves off of space. Okay. Or it can pick up muscle movements. So, so I can make a slight gesture and it'll still be able to communicate what I need it to communicate. Yep. So you hear that beep right there. I'm mm -hmm. just simply making this motion and that's telling the computer to select. I can make that motion as small or as big and we create the software to capture what the person can do physically. Wow. So you individualize and, and pretty much like whatever parameters that I have limitations with, you make certain that this is going to help within those parameters. Absolutely. And so Man, even, what the world. even too, <laughs> if somebody only can move their eyebrows, we mm -hmm. have sensors that can go straight above their eyebrow and they raise it. And then that's what tells the computer to work. Wow. Wow. So get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I certainly appreciate that. Thanks,